The conventional way of seeing a doctor is through face-to-face -face interaction either at a hospital or a clinic. But because of technological advancements, we can now see a doctor online, either at a pharmacy or the convenience of your own couch or at the office. In the heart of Kangemi, one of Nairobi's slums, lies Waruku Pharmaceutical, a chemist with a difference. It also operates as a telehealth kiosk providing online doctor consultation through an innovation known as M. Daktari at a subsidized fee of 250 shillings. Here we met Ormari Sodote, a nurse who provides triage services prior to the online doctor consultations in order to evaluate the patient's condition just like an ordinary medical facility. Waruko, it is cheap. You could come to the chemistry, you don't need any transport. To come to the chemist, no line, you just come direct, then you, you talk to the doctor. Hannah Wangui is a patient who visits the pharmacy and is delighted with the online consultations. Si kama vile mi naedanga kwa sipitali, ya ya kitaka kunipigia simu na tunaongea. Akitaka ni kukuja hapa na torewa hii picha yake tunaongea. Life, hivi. Hannah's satisfaction stems from her recovery from late-stage diabetes and management of her condition through free blood pressure testing provided by M. Daktari and their virtual doctor visits. Na ninaona kuanzia vila nilianza, juu hata vila nilikuwa niyakaa bila nguo, nisiku sweat, kunywa maji. Sasa hata sikunywi, hata ninakaa hata masa, nini hata masa tatu kama sijakula, sisikinja. Lakini sayo nilikuwa nakula, kula kukula usiku. Waruku Pharmaceutical is part of a network of 15 pharmacy branches that work with M. Daktari. However, prices range from the subsidized 250 shillings to 500 shillings at pharmacies such as Good Life, which target the middle class. We wanted to make the service accessible to lower income groups who don't have devices or who have sensitivity to data costs. And so that was our, our real reason for moving into pharmacies. Those who wish to see a doctor on the go and at their convenience simply book an appointment from a mobile phone, tablet or laptop. However, this entirely virtual form of consultation can only treat minor ailments and draws a fee of 600 shillings or more. There are certain illnesses that you can do it like online, so like flu, common cold and all that stuff. For more serious complications, other steps are taken. A patient comes on online plat uh, platform to me saying that he has a diarrhea for the past two days and vomiting and, and body weakness and all that. So what I usually do is that I send them to do a test, a stool test, and see if there's any sort of infection going on or not. And once they bring back the results, I can, I can, I can prescribe the medications to them. Now that we've spoken to the doctor, let's see how the platform works. Hi, doctor. Hi, Olivia. How are you feeling today? I'm not feeling too good. I have a sore throat, I have a flu, and I've been coughing for the last two days. Uh, have you been traveling out of Nairobi? The process moves on smoothly, as if I was sitting in his consultation room, except I'm not. And in 10 minutes, we are done. You should be getting your prescriptions within like five minutes or so. M. Daktari has received over 3,000 patients online since its launch a year ago and has slowly grown to receive up to 20 consultations a day. A number Melissa McCoy says could be higher if people trusted and embraced online medical care. Firstly, I've put a lot of time into our clinical governance and creating a very clear scope of what can and cannot be treated on this type of platform. Um, Secondly, there's so much precedent for this in so many markets. Um, the US, UK, India, China, these type of video-based platforms have existed for over a decade. Over 50 doctors are using the platform. They include general surgeons, pediatricians, obstetrics and gynecologists, as well as dental surgeons. Olivia Mengich, Weekend Edition.